So in this video, we'll be looking at finally, one of my favorite accessories, the bandana, and how it fits into the modern wardrobe. So the bandana, which is a square of material, usually around sort of 65 centimeters worn at the neck, it's a favorite accessory of mine. I've never been comfortable with the old pre-tied cravat, uh, which you see worn at the neck. Whenever I wore them, they felt a little bit fake. I didn't like the way the pleats were, look, sat at the back and it never sat that way at the neck. But it's a style I've always been interested in. And when I discovered quite late on in my sartorial journey about the bandana, or as I call it, a neckerchief, it, it gave me a really useful element of my smart casual looks. So I've been wearing them now regularly, probably about six, seven years. I prefer them as I'm wearing it today with knitwear as opposed to a shirt. I think it just gives you an extra element. I also feel now I'm getting older, happens to us all, that it's more flattering. Your neck doesn't get any better as you get older, sadly, I hate to break it to you. And when I'm wearing a shirt and tie, it keeps that area quite neat. When I'm wearing an open neck or a sweater, my neck is exposed. I feel it just gives you a, a, a bit more flattering in the neck area. I find it quite comfortable. I think having something around your neck when it's very warm, it can be very comfortable to have something which takes away the perspiration. On cooler days, it's an extra warming layer, so it's a non-seasonal look for me. Um, and it just adds a bit of a, a small attention to detail. So quick interruption, but an opportunity to win a really good prize. You can win a one hour personal consultation with me online to discuss all your sartorial needs. Now, as a personal stylist, I have a wide range of customers. Some may be later on in their sort of sartorial journey and they've got a whole wardrobe for the bespoke suits. They want to know how to wear the best out of them, how to style them. Other people are at the beginning of their sartorial journey, haven't even got a suit. They're just looking to get some guidance. So wherever your level is, wherever you are on the journey, I've got the advice for you. And to make it easier, the chaps at Rampley & Co will give you a £500 gift voucher to spend on their goods. I can even help you spend that. So all you have to do to win this fantastic prize is be an email subscriber. The details are below. There's a few things I've discovered since wearing them that I'd like to share with you. The first thing is, is you just never touch it. I think if you're wearing something which is slightly unusual, not everyone wears one, you need to put it on and tie it. And there's a, there'll be a great how to tie your bandana video coming shortly. But if you start playing with it and touching it, it looks self-conscious, it looks affected. You need to put it on and forget you're wearing it. And I'd say that for anything you're wearing, which you're not used to. Often I see my customers who wear pocket squares for the first time. They can't help but touch it, play with it, put it on, forget about it. It looks far more stylish that way. Speaking of pocket squares, which I think this is sacrilege for a, a Rampling Co video. I'm not wearing a pocket square. I'm surprised they let me even film this. I don't like a bandana with a pocket square. Don't know why, it just doesn't work for me. I love a tie with a pocket square. You may have seen a couple of my videos in the past where I'm wearing that combination. But for me, I just feel it's too much. So when I wear a, po when I wear a bandana, I seldom, if ever, wear a pocket square. Other than that, Kind of the same rules for wearing ties or scarves. I try to pick colours which are complementary, which tone into the look. Um, and I, I really enjoy the versatility of it. If you're not sure, give it a go. I think they can be used in great, great for smart casual. I prefer it more for dressing up casual looks than dressing down looks. I very rarely wear one with a suit. I'm probably more likely to wear it with knitwear and an overcoat or just on a, on, a, on a summer's day, I tend to wear a polo shirt, a neckerchief without an overcoat or, or a blazer. Just as a slight accessory, a little attention to detail. So I hope I've inspired you. Let me know in the comments below if you wear them or if you'd like to wear them, what holds you back? Do there any connotations to you? I know for some people that's quite a negative connotation. Let me know and don't forget to subscribe.